What's going on? This is just a real quick video for y'all who don't take firewalls serious. You have to have a firewall installed on your computer if you want to be safe out there on the net. And you know, I can't really stress that enough. And I want to give you an example of what it's like when you have a firewall, what you can do, and what type of things you can stop from happening to your computer. So I have Zone Alarm. It's the best price going free. So of course I'm jumping all over that. I know how important it is to have a firewall. And um, here again, Zone Alarm is free. So that's my type of price right there. So here, what I'm looking at right now is the uh, the log file. This is all the logs that's being kept from different things that's happening on my firewall. As you can see here, we have some incoming communication from a source that I'm not really that familiar with over a, a port that basically uh, identifies a hole that they're trying to punch through to get into my computer with and that's what we're looking here with this this port here okay so now their IP address is identified here this is just basically an address that identifies their computer on the internet so what I'm going to do is you can see here that this is being blocked of course it's being blocked because I have a firewall I don't, I don't play that so I'm going to show you how you can find out a little bit about the people that's trying to connect to your computer now again you won't know this if you don't have a firewall so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at that TCP port the hole that they're trying to breach my computer on I'm going to take a look at that that port and that port here is 20156 it looks like it's a UDP port so I, I take a look here and I see that that 20156 falls right in that range right here that's actually unassigned so nobody owns that there's no particular application that, that's in use here so I know that this is something fishy going on right now alright so let me look up who I'm going to cause I'm, I'm going at this point I'm considering this a, an attacker okay let me take a look at him and see what's really going on and who this might be so I'm gonna use this one here because we got two we have two here that's been identified from this IP address so what I'm gonna do is what's called a reverse DNS lookup that's what I'm gonna do now notice I'm, I'm just picking random sites here that that is giving me the information that I'm looking for so I'm gonna look at the reverse DNS lookup I'm gonna plug in this IP address to see where our attacker is from so I'm gonna go ahead and put in the address 59.92 121.71 that's this IP address right here that, that you see me looking at so let's look them up and see where they're coming from uh-huh see look at that now I, don't, I mean I know people from India you know I'm cool with people in India but I don't know anybody in India that should be that could be connecting to my computer right now at this time of night what is it 2 227 AM and they, they're trying to get into my computer over UDP 201156 come on now so for all y'all leaving your computer on at night don't have a firewall there's somebody up in your computer right now trying to get all your information be tapping into your bank account still in change at the end of the night and you wouldn't even know about it so I'm really trying to stress the importance of having a firewall installed on your computer don't take this for a joke as you can see right here a live example things being blocked trying to communicate and several times I see you see it from multiple different addresses this doesn't mean that somebody's in India doing this but that's what it that's the IP address that is coming from so you never know but all I know is I'm not I'm not trying to go out there without no firewall so take this stuff serious and um, I'll keep giving you some more information as things go on so thanks for watching